And now for question number six from the um, Pure Mathematics 4 International A-Level uh, Sample Assessment Paper. This is a question which is from a, one of the topics which is new to the syllabus, which is called Proof by Contradiction. And um, such questions, of course, you won't find in the old C4 or C34 papers. Um, you'll find lots of questions like this, including this actual question, I think, in the uh, textbook. And you know, you have to find examples of it elsewhere until papers have come out. Now, proof by contradiction, or prove by contradiction, that if A and B are positive real numbers, then A plus B is greater than or equal to two times the square root of AB. So when you're doing proof by contradiction, what you do is you, first of all, you assume the, what contradicts it or the opposite of, assume the opposite of the statement. Okay, assume the opposite. So we, we can say, let's assume that if A and B are positive real numbers, are positive real numbers, Then, now the opposite of this statement would be a plus b is less than 2 times the square root of ab. That's what we've got to prove. So let's go about doing this proof. So we've got to basically, once you've assumed the opposite, you've got to show that assuming the opposite leads to some sort of contradiction, something that doesn't make sense. And therefore, um, that proves that the actual original assumption was true. So let's try to manipulate this. Let's square both sides. So you're going to square this side and you're going to square that side. Okay. Now with an inequality there's no problem with squaring both sides if you know both sides are positive. Okay. The problem is when you're squaring both sides so you can write if you want no problem as left hand side and right hand side are both positive okay because if you square both sides and one of them is negative and the other one is positive it's an inequality is a problem so for example you know that minus 3 is less than 2 but if you square both sides you end up with getting 9 and this is 4 and it's not true anymore you see so you should be careful when you're squaring both sides but because we know a and b are both positive then a plus b squared of course is positive and 2 times root ab must also be positive. Okay, so now when you square this side you're going to get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And when, you, when you square this side you're going to get 4ab. Okay, let's just manipulate this, bring the 4ab onto this side so you're left with a squared plus 2ab and you're going to have a minus 4ab plus b squared is less than 0. And this will leave you with a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is less than 0. Now, this is a perfect square. You've got a minus b squared. That will give you a minus, that will be a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is less than 0. Now, this is a contradiction. Contradiction. Because, why is it a contradiction? Because we know um, that when you square anything, a minus b, whether it's positive or negative, when you square it, will always be greater than zero. But you square any number, whether it's positive or negative, like for example, if a is bigger than b, um, sorry, if b is bigger than a, then a minus b will be negative, but then you square it, it's going to be positive. Okay, so whatever goes in here is going to be squared. So we know that a minus b squared is greater than or equal to zero, <laughs> if A and B both have the same value, um, then of course it could possibly be zero. But that contradicts our original our our assumption. We assumed that A plus B is less than two times root A B. Okay, and by assuming that we've left we've we've basically um, come up with something which doesn't make sense in our working. Okay, so assuming the statement original to be false and to assume the the opposite of it caused us to reach a stage in our working which is a contradiction and doesn't make sense.
Okay, so therefore we can say therefore if A and B, so we have to just basically state if A and B okay, are positive real numbers positive real numbers is that what I said, real numbers? Yes, I think it did. Yes. Then we can say that the statement is true. We can say that A plus B is greater than or equal to 2 times root AB. We prove this by contradiction. Okay, so in the end you should write down your statement. Okay, and over there we have the answer to question number 6. Okay, so it's pretty simple, these questions. You just have to uh, basically assume the opposite, as we did, and then show that by doing that, and doing so, you le it leads you to a step where, um, you know, it doesn't make sense. There's a contradiction. This cannot be true. Therefore, we know that the opposite of what we assumed is true, which is what the original statement was. Okay, so we know that the original statement is true. We've proved it by contradiction. Okay, there's other ways of proving, which we learned in P2. For this, if it said prove that if A and B are positive real numbers, then A plus B is great, greater than or equal to 2 times root AB, you could have done the same thing without doing the opposite. You could have just said, okay, square both sides, and then show that this, this statement is true in the same way that we showed this is, this is false. So we would have ended up with A minus B squared is greater than 0, which is which is true always for all values of A and B. So therefore, all we, you know, we, we can basically prove this statement okay all right but we learn we're learning in in people how to prove by contradiction not proving by deduction or induction okay so there we have the answer to question number six